and my name is Mason. Mason is six years old. Uh, he enjoys a variety of things. He likes music. This instrument is called a ukulele. Uh, he also enjoys playing the Wii. Uh, he loves bowling and tennis, and he also loves uh, dance party, he calls it, just dance. Uh, it's uh, hard for him to follow along with uh, movements, but he just dances and has a good time. That, that, that's about my favorite game. Mason is visually impaired. Uh, he actually is blind in his left eye, and in his right eye he has partial retina that he uses to see with. With that retina that he has intact, he can see about 2300 vision uh, compared to the normal 2020. We are a normal family and Mason is a normal child and we just use some adaptations to help make him successful and adapt to his needs and the loss of his vision. My name is Abby Pembrick and I'm Mason's teacher of the blind and visually impaired and also his orientation and mobility specialist. In the classroom, Mason uses his mouth baton um, as far as technology goes, mostly for writing activities. So anytime the teacher has the students doing pencil paper writing, Mason uses his mouth baton. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. You just press down these keys. When you type something, it will tell you what you typed. <laughs> It's like bulbs, like bulbs to read. So the Mountbatten Brailler was new to us last year. Um, the school district here has been fabulous about providing technology and any other accommodations that we've requested. So the, the school district purchased the Mountbatten for Mason to use as long as he needs it. He can read some large print, but uh, at this point we are teaching him Braille early so that as the letters get smaller, and the grades get bigger, he can keep up with the class by being real comfortable with the Braille. Uh, he also uses an iPad um, at school and at home, which is convenient for him for educational games for spelling because the letters are often larger and the contrast is usually better, which makes it easier for him to see that. Spell came. Ooh. E, C, C, A. A M E C A M E came super. Um, Mason uses the smart board at school, which is great for him because it's so large. Um, often it's high contrast. Uh, he and he can interact with the smart board just like his classmates can. So it allows him to be that normal child when the classmates are interacting with the smart board. He can go up and use it as well because it's often big enough for him to see. So this is the smart board here. You have to tap an E and then you have to put it into the nest. <laughs> Technology in the field of blind and visual impairments is constantly changing. And in fact, Mason, while he's using a mount bat now, that's not necessarily the primary piece of technology that he'll be using in a couple of years. Um, there are braille note takers, there are screen reading devices. Technology is constantly changing and, and Mason, because he's so technology driven, that will probably be continuing to integrate technology into his classroom experience. I'll see you later. Gotta got drive. Bye. <laughs>